What else do you go sailing besides sand? Swim a lot. I don't like sailing. Yeah, I, I, I like walking. I like horseback riding. I like driving. I like dancing. Get <laughs> back on your disco. <laughs> Oh, there's so many things I want to do. We were talking during the, the break about Mondrian. Was he seeing his work was that kind of pivotal for your own development as an artist? Or was it difficult to get into my own work? Was it pivotal uh, for your own experience? Did he somehow, in looking at his work, did that kind of pull things together for you? Oh, as oh, oh, of course. Of course. He was my the greatest influence. And I, 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 sort of, I understood Mongren immediately, uh, the, 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 the 36, 37. Uh, but um, I was just learning to draw, and uh, first I had to get that out of my system. Uh, you, you can't start thinking abstractly, you don't know whether you can draw or not. Uh, because it, uh, we've been made to think that the, the basically uh, you start with drawing, and then you like learn to think what you've drawn. And, um, So after I uh, was able to draw a pig that looked as if it might just squeal, if you can tell you, or uh, a tree that the leaves might fall from it, uh, uh, I lost my interest in drawing. Then I was, I was interested in the abstract. Uh, uh, but while I, my, my last painting, the uh, uh, late thirties and very early forties, still painting from uh, subject matter. I, I was in the composition of getting something from Mondrian in it. I thought I was getting the great lot of Mondrian in it, which is impossible, you know. Uh, it, 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 you're just kidding yourself if you think you're really using Mondrian in a representational painting. Uh, but then by 1942, my work is become truly abstract, and I never did fluctuate back and forth uh, nature anymore.
and it's very involved. I thought that was the way things should go. Everything should be out in front of public. I'd like to make work with the selling grocery stores and so forth and so on. But I was, I walked away with a real strong distaste. I, I, I Madison Avenue, and you talked today about the synthetic entertainment that we have for ourselves. And at that time, I think if I would make the parallel, I felt like we got a synthetic art that we perpetuate upon, uh, perpetrate on the public. Yeah. Yeah. And people have a hard enough time, at least, understanding what they like and what they don't like, and then we get told and we get misinformed. And, it just seems like such a snowball sometimes to, to pull all the pieces out and make sense of it. And I was talking to her last night, and she thought that she had painted the greatest picture of the, of the cement plant. She was really happy about that. And then, but she also was very disappointed in what she's painting right now. Sometimes it's something we all know that we do well. <laughs> uh, poor little girl about an education. Uh, but I just thought it's the most genuine reaction to how they it's come down. Uh, uh, but you, you, you see, um, uh, uh, no one would, would come out and, and criticize uh, music like pe people feel so free to come out and cr criticize art. But they don't know that they're revealing the most stupid sort of mind and ignorance. Keep their mouths closed. <laughs> uh, uh, you see people wearing expensive clothes, you know, and diamonds and glitter. And they open their mouths and it looks like corn. <laughs>